Hey everybody, it's Geis here from Got Tech the Podcast. Today I'm going to go over why Canva is becoming my new Jamboard. Both Canva and Jamboard, awesome tools, but I think we get a little bit more functionality out of Canva. This is one that you're going to want to check out. So if we get started, I have to say that Canva and Jamboard offer some basic functionality uh, that are similar between both platforms. First off, they offer a workspace that is a live collaboration and it allows you to have annotation. What I'm talking about here is if I bring up this Jamboard, in Jamboard you're able to have text boxes, you can have note slips or little annotation cards, you could add pictures and other things to your Jamboard. But there are some limitations of Jamboard that you will not find in Canva. All right, so they do have some similar functionality, but let's take a look at how Canva offers more creative abilities. We have a bigger pool of pictures and shapes and texts, fonts, colors, elements, frames, icons, and templates. I think templates is the biggest thing I want to take away here. So if we go to our project requirement uh, guide here that I've made in Canva, I want them to make a brochure. Okay, and it's just a one page bro brochure. It's a little infographic. I give them some basic requirements and I make as many pages as I have students or groups in that class. So they're supposed to have a bold title, some facts, some pictures, and some human impacts, and then a screencast or an audio file giving a tour of your slide template or whatever it may be. All right, so. I will say this, a lot of people don't know that Canva allows you to have this collaborative uh, atmosphere, this, this live collaboration within Canva, and you can easily do that by going up, hitting share, and once you have uh, set up your class in Canva, which is a different video, you can easily share this uh, project. You could do it by just sharing a link as well and you could select how you want it to be shared. Anyone with the link or anyone in your school district. I guess this is a good spot for me to say that Canva for Education is free for all K through 12 institutions. So if you do not have it, reach out to your Canva representative. I'll put one into the description of this video as well. So if I go ahead, uh, I also shared this with another email account. And as you could see, I can edit this. I'm just showing you that as a student, I could go in there and edit it. And we could kind of see the same, uh, you know, changes to this project as you would in any Google uh, project that you're doing. So if I go down to page two uh, on my student account, you could see that I am editing this in real time. I'm going to select a different template here. Uh, and you could see me bring it in there and then I can make individual changes to everything within this uh, this template. So it's very easy to change. You just click into the different elements that you want to change and you're able to bring in different icons. Uh, if we don't even like that template, we could simply uh, hit delete uh, the whole thing and we can uh, change the template as well and bring in something different. So if I bring in something different, now I could work on this. This allows the students to work more with the content and less with the creativity while still creating something awesome. So a simple way to assign student slides, you could just give them a number and that number corresponds with the page. All right, they could go in and they could change the name so if I put Eric on this third one, that's mine, and everyone will know that. So here's one on the rainforest. There are several different templates that you could use and easily modify and change. So as you could see, I'm able to go in here. I could change anything that I want here, whether it's the font, the font size, the templates, all that. So if I just go up here, I could choose a different font, and it's that simple. I could go to elements and I can add, if I'm working with a laptop, I could add the laptop. I could add different shapes. If I want to add text in there, I could do that. I could change the colors of the shapes. So 
This is why Canva is becoming my new Jamboard. If I go back here, other than the creativity, I love the fact in Canva you don't have a slide limit or a Jamboard limit. Uh, in a Jamboard, you can only have 20 different slides before you have to make a new one. So if I have 24 students, that's problematic. So in Canva, you don't run into that hurdle. All right. As I said before with the creativity piece, you're able to make videos in Canva that you could put right onto your, uh, your template. You could do animations. You could also record audio and put that into your uh, template as well or whatever project you're working on. So it's a, literally a one-stop shop. At the end of this, you can download whatever work you do in several different forms, whether it's PDF. But if we go up here, we could see other different forms, such as uh, JPEG, uh, PNG, a couple different PDF options, F SVG, an MP4, and a GIF. So you can make GIFs as well in here. So there's several different reasons why I prefer Canva to Jamboard. But I will say this. With all EdTech tools, you have to be comfortable with it. Your students have to be comfortable with it. So if you like Jamboard, go with Jamboard. But if you want to take your creativity to the next level, I suggest you check out Canva for Education. Thanks for joining.